Phil's here to reveal the results of our battle of the desserts. Uh, quite excited about this. Who has won? Right. That is the question. Over well, 9,000 votes. everywhere. Over 9,000 votes and... 52%... Apple crumble. There yes. you go. Hey. Yes! <laughs> Fabulous! Yes! Okay, well, that's fine. That's, that's fine. I do like an apple crumble with a yes. bit of ice cream or something. Do you? Where's the sticky toffee pudding gone that was in that picture? They've thrown it away. Look. I've got one here. Oh, let's no, no, see. No. Why? Go and crumble first. Oh. Do you want to no. have a taste? Okay. Just well, a you can have a little taste. Look at you that. keep you talk and I'll just. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Apple crumble, so it goes. Very simple, but very simple to get right, John, and very simple to get wrong, as you know. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. Right, in this pan here, I have Bramley apples. Now, mm. you can get various types of cooking apples. This is a, a Bramley apple, as you can see here. You can get a Howgate Wonder or various other varieties, which, what, when they cook down, they marmalade. And I just need to show you this bit here. This is what they call marmalade. So the apple just starts to break down. See that? Oh, I see, yeah. See it that goes there? like a roast potato. Yes, it just starts to mm. break down. You don't miss a trick, do you? No, I watch doesn't. you. Right, into this pan. So I'm just going to cook these down very slightly. As you'll see just there, it's time to break No down. sugar, though. Not at the moment. OK. Then I add juice of one lemon, mm. zest of one lemon, mm -hmm. sugar, normally around about 200 grams, but it depends on the sweetness of the apple. Mm -hmm. If you're using dessert apples, for instance, you use half the amount of sugar, but they don't break down as much. Do, do, you, you, oh. do you prefer a little more bitter apple than a sweet apple. I do, because I think, A, you get a nicer texture. Yeah. And we'll come on to that in a bit in a second. And also, you, you get that... Uh, a more pronounced apple flavour, if that's the uh, right way okay. of putting it. Are you, do you cook a lot at home? Uh, well, Scott does cooking, but he cooks... Um, sorry, Scott, he cooks a little blandly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're never going to be fed ever again. <laughs> well, no, but, he, you know, Scott likes... He's simple, steak and chips and or steak and potatoes and right. rice. Right, right, I right. like to put a little sauce on it, so this is much more up my street, but my thing is getting the crumble right, because I, ne ah. I never Correct. get the crumble. Right, right. Well, you pay attention, Baron. So I add a touch of water to this as well, help it along its way, and if you don't um, add a liquid, they don't tend to marmalade. Over here. I okay. like that one. Imagine they've been cooked it. for around about four oh, to five look, minutes. Oh, look, who put that there? You have a little taste This is very good. Can I just say, people, can... big mistake. Huge. <laughs> you <laughs> should have gone for this. this mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know me Thank too. you, everybody, for going for the apple crumble. <laughs> right. I really appreciate it. In this bowl, what I've done here is I've put this in here just to demonstrate how much liquid you get oh, off there. Wow. See there? Now, because we did this ahead of time, you do get a bit of more moisture coming out of the apple. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you strain the apple. Otherwise, it'll end up going soggy. Correct. Uh, so I add... No! I add... <laughs> You're putting it back! The only half. Oh, OK. Only half. You can oh. have more if you like, but that gives that lovely syrup flavour underneath. But now, that won't make your crumble crumble, is No, I mean. but, but... Correct. Also, again, how do you know when the apples have cooked enough? You don't, because, as I've just said to you, when they break down slightly like this, you're going to cook it again in the oven. For, for 40 minutes. Right. OK, so you, it's a two-stage cooking process. <laughs> Crumble. <laughs> in. Oh, you missed it. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I know not Don't what I'm talking you for, about. Don't encourage you, for goodness sake. I can't help it. It's right, in this fun. bowl here, uh, this choppy bowl, I have plain flour. Yes. I have to watch. To that, I'm going to add butter. This is colder the butter, the better. What? Colder the colder butter, the, butter the, better. the better. Okay. Because if, if it's warm and you lick and you chew it up in a machine, it's mushy. Bitter? <laughs> no, not bitter. <laughs> How's it going to get bitter? Colder the butter. Colder the bitter, the better the butter. It's going to um, friction or warm it up, and it'll melt the butter. Right. So what you need to do is whiz this up until it just incorporates, okay, and it doesn't get warm. If it gets warm, it goes into a paste. Ah. All right. So that's where your crumble becomes very heavy. So that's ready now. There you go, that's a good thing. Look at that. Oh. I'll be very lazy. Then what you do is you put that into a bowl, mm -hmm. and even if you have small amounts of butter in there, it makes no difference because you want to get a lovely crumble. Is yeah, that lovely. the crumble? That's, that's it. The crumble. Hang on. Then you add the sugar at this point. Oh, which gives a bit of crunch. Yes, but if you put it in this stage, if you overbeat it, over it, it becomes like a pastry. Don't want to overbeat it. No, you no. don't, John. I was thinking of another word to say there. Oh, I couldn't think of it quick enough. Anyway. And what you do is you then fold in the crumble with a I'm spoon. I'm just doing that face because I've just seen Rita over there and I was like, hi! It's like, it's like a big jungle reunion. <laughs> so happy. Liar. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> happy. Right. right, sorry. We, we're no, sorry, no. So you, you mix it with a spoon and that way you get a lovely light crumble. Oh, it looks like frost. Golden rule here, one third fruit. Two thirds crumble. No. Yes. You've already complicated it for me. Just pour it on. But there's more crumble than you realise. <laughs> get out. Get out of it. And what you do? You're not just, learning anything. Just, just move it out. Don't pack it down. 
just need lice and light. Wow. Well, I wouldn't have made it like that. Nor would I. It's very simple. I would have done much less. Into the oven. I would have made it more chunky crumble. I, I would have too. I'd have done chunky yeah. crumble and less. 190, 200, around about 20, 25 minutes. I'm intrigued. Are you? Now, mm -hmm. when it comes out, John, you leave it, pay attention now, for 20 minutes to half an hour. OK. Otherwise, it's too hot. And if it's too hot, you can't taste and it. it burns your mouth. Now, we, would, we couldn't have that, John, could we? No. No. You, yeah, you can serve it. Oh, no, you serve it. No, you serve it, because I've got the accompaniments. Mm. Right. Go so on. what now. do you accompany it with? Because this is going to be the right. next thing. We have here custard. Oh. That looks really good. We have clotted cream. Oh. Oh, now, if Phil was here, he'd be all over that. No, that'd be his gone. Favorite It'd is be gone, wouldn't cream. it? And we also have ice cream. Oh, so <laughs> so it really wants is up a to little you. bit of ice I'm cream. I'm going to go ice cream because I'm not a custard I'm fan. I'm going to go ice cream. And I'm not Clotted a cream, cream. fan. Are Clotted you a cream, cream and custard. You can tell the person hey. that's been in the jungle on rations <laughs> and here. This is what we did. <laughs> oh, you're not. Oh, he did. Mm. You, oh, that makes me feel ill. Oh. Uh, I knew it was a mistake cooking with you. On the last anyway. Let's but try it. That's in honour of Harry. Harry Redknapp. Yeah, he did. I know you love your custard, he mate. Does. And there, some of your jungle friends are watching this morning, aren't they? Because I just saw you on the WhatsApp yeah, group. Yeah, they, they were saying with the WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp group that we have, they were saying, you know, well done. So, yeah, guys, cheers. Mm. Custard. Mm. That is so good. So, there you go. What do you think? Light as a feather. Oh, it's very Not good. too sweet. It's so light. And the hot and cold the combination of ice cream. The really nice, it's actually. Light, light Did you say you put lemon in that? A little bit of lemon. Juice and zest. I've got, I've got lemon trees in my garden, so I'm going to tell you what. Where's that? Santa Pay? <laughs> no. Palm no, Springs. Palm Springs. When I go back home, I'm going to do an apple crumble like you just did, right. and I'm going to show using the fruit from our garden, and I'm going to make one, and I'll take a picture and show you. Send me oh, a picture. Nice. Uh -huh. well, I want to see the crumble, though. I like thick crumble. That, um, that crumble's a game changer. Really know. good. Simple. Really good. Simple good cooking. choice. I take it back. This is lovely. You Thank you, Phil. Thank uh, you. Thanks uh, for all the recipe and details. Look at this morning app.